Merle Haggard. Sing me back home before I die. Nine minutes after seven o'clock in Jennifer Country for a Wednesday night. The Crystal Gale. This is my year for Crystal Gale. Always leaving, never really gone. But this is my year for Mexico. Twelve minutes after seven o'clock in Ronnie Millsap. Too late to worry, too blue to cry. Fifteen minutes after seven o'clock in Jennifer Country. Gonna keep the music back to back and wall to wall. When the last song is written and the story's told, when this old world stops turning. No more ages left to roam Somewhere in the book of love Will there be just one line That tells me of the sweet and tender times When the last ties are broken by the passing days And we've given it our final tries And gone our separate ways Will you sometimes now and then Try to whisper to your mind And remind it of the sweet and tender times Tender times Sweet and tender times Let your heart Be so close to mine And if you begin to doubt me Girl, just turn your eyes to mine Sweet and tender times Tender times Sweet and tender times Let your heart Just turn your eyes to mine And remember the sweet and tender times And remember the sweet and tender times Don Gibson and Sue Thompson remember the sweet and tender times Send that out for Charlie. Nice to have you with us tonight. 18 minutes after 7 o'clock, Jesse Calder. I don't want to be a one-night stand. Now you ask me if I will go with you. Well, I'd like to, but I don't know if it's right Are you looking for someone to care for, baby? Or just someone to love you tonight? Cause I don't want to be a one-night stand So if that's what you
kisses make me wish that you were mine. It'd be so easy to fall for you and let myself have a good time. But I don't want to be a one-night stand. So if that's what you Ladies Love Outlaws, 26 minutes after 7 o'clock, Ray Griff. From country loving Ray Griff, and you ring my bell. Nobody, I mean nobody, has ever moved me the way that you do, baby. <laughs> you ring my bell like it has never been wrong. You swing me round like I have never been swung. You do me like no other woman has done You ring my bell I've got a feeling that I never have felt And what you're dealing me I never had dealt You hold me different than I've ever been held You ring my bell You I'm flying higher than I ever have gone You've gotten underneath my skin, I can tell 
You ring my bell. Country love and sound of Ray Griff. Dolly Parton, love is like a butterfly. Checking news headlines. President Ford has vetoed the extension of the 1975 tax cuts as he warned all along that he would. The president vetoes the measure passed earlier in the day by Congress because it did not provide for a federal spending ceiling he demanded. A vote to override the veto is tentatively set for tomorrow morning in the House, where a close vote is expected. In other congressional action today, the Senate completed approval of a comprehensive energy bill. The action came nearly a year after President Ford called for energy independence. Presidential energy advisors say Ford has not yet decided whether to sign the measure. And Manson follower Lynette Frome was sentenced to life in prison in Sacramento today for trying to assassinate President Ford. The weather word for the upper and lower Hudson Valley, mostly cloudy, becoming windy and turning colder tonight, with occasional snow likely, low in the teens to low 20s. Thursday, variable cloudiness, windy and cold, with a chance of further flurries, high 25 to 30. Partial clearing Thursday night, continued windy and cold, low 0 to 10 above. Friday, partly cloudy, high in the 20s. Probability of precipitation, 60% tonight, 30% Thursday, and 10% Thursday night. Wind southerly, 10 to 20 miles an hour. Shifting to northwesterly, 10 to 20 miles an hour, and gusty tonight. And also gusty tomorrow. Temperature at 733 on Pendell Road. A chilly 32 degrees. Help me walk another mile, just one more mile. I'm so tired of walking all alone. No, help me smile another smile. Just one more smile I know I just can't make it On my own
Street and we play word games. Fact, before you stock up on your favorite holiday wine, stop at the Gamo Hills and check the pre-holiday sale prices on a large variety of fine imported wine. Look for the red tag and pocket the extra savings. You'll find a large selection available, such as Lance's Rosé, Bianco, and Rubio. And for Sangria fanciers, Red Yago Sangria Fifths are included. Nothing ever like it before. But as usual, DeGamo Hills Wines and Liquors is first with the finest in the Hudson Valley. This sale is so special, we can't mention prices on the air, but we can tell you it will be well worth your while to stop by and stock up during the big red tag sale now going on. At the store with the personality, DeGamo Hills Wines and Liquors, Myers Corners Road in Wappingers Falls. Hurry in, the sale is for a limited time only. Avis wants to do their part to get the economy rolling again, and preferably rolling in Avis trucks. Everyone knows that these are not the best of times. It's no time to have a lot of your precious business capital tied up in a fleet of trucks. Not when you can rent from Avis. Just about any truck you need. Avis has a full line of trucks, from pickups, panel trucks and vans, to tractors and trailers, even refrigerated trucks. They're for rent by the day, the week, or however long you need them. And as a little extra boost to get the economy rolling and you rolling in an Avis truck, they are offering special discounts off the regular low rates for commercial users. Act now. Call Avis. Tell them what your truck needs are and see how fast they can get you rolling in an Avis truck. Avis tries harder with trucks too. Avis not only tries harder, Avis tries anything. 20 minutes before 8 o'clock, WPDH time, Lawanda Lindsay. The road's my road, for worse or better, and I don't care where we're bound. Maybe any road you're riding on is the road I'll follow you down. 
Working for beans down in New Orleans For peanuts and San Antonio Are hitching a ride on the Jersey Pike While the rain turns into snow High road, low road, green or rocky road Main line out of town Baby, any road you're riding on Is the road I'll follow you down I can keep you warm in a freezing rain Or I can love you meet the burning sun And baby, when we hear that freight train coming We can grab our things and run Cause I don't care if it's a Carolina or a California town Baby, any road you're riding on is the road I'll follow you down Barefoot and running on a country road in a warm alfalfa wind Or singing the blues from walking in shoes too tight for breaking in Main street, side street, living on easy street, rich or bumming around Baby, any road you're riding on is the road I'll follow you down I can keep you warm in a freezing rain Or I can love you neath the burning sun And baby, when we hear that freight train coming We can grab our things and run Cause I don't care if it's a Carolina Or a California town Baby, any road you're riding on Is the road I'll follow you down Baby, any road you're riding on is the road I'll follow you down. Dottie West, rolling in the heaven of your sweet, sweet love. Rolling in your sunshine. Quarter to eight, WPDH time. It's a matter of pride. It's for certain you were certainly unconcerned about me. Wonder how little I could 
pride As a matter of fact It didn't matter You packed and left me The fact of the matter was It was a matter of pride It was a matter of time Before I realized You would always walk on me And being somebody's welcome match Got a welcome feeling to me And I hear that you say that I begged you to stay But we know that you lied Cause the fact of the matter was It was a matter of pride Before I realized you would always walk on me And being somebody's welcome match Not a welcome feeling to me And I hear that you say that I begged you to stay But we know that you lied Cause the fact of the matter was It was a matter of pride Lawanda Lindsay, the fact of the matter is, you know, it's just a matter of pride. Thirteen minutes before eight o'clock, Jim Reeves, just remember, you belong to me. About eleven minutes before eight o'clock in Jennifer Country, a whole new world at 101.5 FM, even if it's only till 12.30 tomorrow morning. Love me like you've never done before. I can see you in the candlelight And your skin is velvet brown Smiling like an angel As you turn the blankets down Reaching out your loving arms Whisper soft and low Come and lay down beside me for a while Love me like you've never done before Love me like you've never done before Make me glad that I'm alive Before. And I can see your tender smile My reflection in your eyes Reaching out to touch my skin Girl, you make me come alive Saying you belong to me And tell me how much love can grow Come and lay down beside me for a while And love me like you've never done before Love me like you've never done before Make me glad that I'm alive Tell me I'll be coming back for more Cause you love me like you've never done before One of his absolutely best, Tom T. Hall, Old Dogs, Children, and Watermelon Wine.
told me to wait for you And you'd be there before the night was over I watched the people come and go The flashing movie sign shined on the cars below I put my head back on the seat I didn't mean to fall asleep And the next thing I knew I heard the whistling of the wind And the Sunday sun was shining Through the window on me And I sit and watch the paper cups Rolling across the parking lot Empty now from yesterday Rolling on to nowhere like my empty heart And the Sunday paper someone threw away Is scattered on the street Pages blowing in the wind Never to be read again Torn and useless like my broken heart To leave together I never thought that you would ever change your mind When you were leaving, well, did she cry And ask you why and beg you for just one more try Now I don't know what to do And here I sit just like a fool Not knowing where to go Leftover dreams from yesterday When hope was still alive in me Are all I have to hold And I sit and watch the paper cups Rolling across the parking lot Empty now from yesterday Rolling on to nowhere like my empty heart And the Sunday paper someone threw away Is scattered on the street WPDH, Poughkeepsie, New York. I'm a cheap imitation, a cheater fool, an old guitar picker, a singer of blues, a sad songwriter that drinks too much booze. I live my life dying, remembering you. Remembering you and the way that we met in a smoke filled bar with a thick smell of sweat. With long hairs and cowboys in a house of rednecks, sucking down hot beer and cussing like that. Seems a 
Lord, I've tried. Remembering you is all I have left. Remembering you till I die. We remember you. Remember you. Dennis Payne, remembering you. Seven minutes after eight o'clock, Mickey Gilly, City Lights. Just can't say I love you to a street of city lights. Ten minutes after eight in Jennifer Country, Jerry Lee Lewis, that's a damn fine country song. Well, I took enough pills for the whole damn town. Jerry Lee Lewis drank enough whiskey to lift any ship off of the ground. I sure wish that these people would quit it Cause it's tough enough to straighten up And they won't leave you alone My life, My life. would make a damn good country song I go by it. I've always done my best I tried to walk tall Walk on, kill em. But when the evening is over, I was walking in the walls. I know I've earned my reputation. Can't they see that I found my salvation? But I guess they'd rather prove me wrong. My life would make a damn good country song. I've had my share of women, but they always seem to leave. I've put me another quarter in an old pinball machine. I got that I know the killer's been wrong, but the change that came over me took too long. My life would make a damn good country song. Sweet love is falling Meanwhile back at the ranch General Custer was a real gangbuster And some say some kind of man Till he started roaming with Sitting Bull's woman Now that's called Custer's last man A James man named Jesse got careless and messy While hanging a picture on the wall Art appreciation caused de-escalation So pay close attention you all Meanwhile back at the ranch Smoking my last cigarette Meanwhile back at the ranch The sun's sinking low in the west So hurry home darling Your sweet love is falling Meanwhile back at the ranch Doris, is that you? Is it really you? It's me, Mona. It's really me. What happened to you? I went on that super carbohydrate, no fat, waterless moisture diet you gave me, and I lost nine pounds in ten days and eleven nights. But Doris, I gained back twenty-four pounds in fifteen days and sixteen nights, and I look just terrible. Fad diets come and fad diets go, but the dieter usually remains the same. That's why the American Dietetic Association reminds you that the best method of weight control is sensible, well-planned meals based on good nutrition plus moderate exercise. Good nutrition keeps you healthy while you take off those unwanted pounds. 
And it saves you food dollars by eliminating empty calorie foods from your budget. So if you're planning a diet, don't depend on a fad diet. Depend on nutrition. Say, Doris, I've got this other diet. Get lost, Mona. Get lost. This has been a public service message brought to you by this station and the American Dietetic Association.
lucky breaks It all comes from you Now our plane's about to land And then the car will come In a couple hours we'll play The auditorium And I like to think That while I sing You're watching from somewhere And thank you Lord For answering This country singer's prayer Now I've got to go To do my show For all the folks out there And thank you Lord For answering This country singer's prayer Tom T. Hall from his album Greatest Hits Volume 2 I Love Well, may you votar que jamais as the French would say Better late than never. In other words, gang, I just pulled the headlines off the machine. Manson cultist Lynette Fromm fought with federal marshals and had to be carried out of court today as she was sentenced to life in prison for trying to kill President Ford. President Ford has vetoed the 1976 tax cut bill because it failed to tie the tax cuts to a ceiling on federal spending. The House will attempt to override the veto tomorrow. The Senate will meet in a secret session tomorrow morning to discuss further American aid to Angola. The Senate put off a showdown vote today on whether to cut off all U.S. covered aid to various factions in Angola. Secretary of State Henry Kissinger is on his way back to Washington after a week-long European visit that took him to a NATO meeting in Brussels. And more families are believed to have been on welfare rolls in August than ever before, a jump of more than 9% over July. The weather word for the upper and lower Hudson Valley, mostly cloudy, becoming windy, and turning colder tonight with occasional snow likely, low in the teens to low 20s. Thursday, variable cloudiness, windy and cold, with a chance of further flurries, high 25 to 30. Partial clearing Thursday night, continued windy and cold, low 0 to 10 above. Friday, partly cloudy, high in the 20s. Probability of precipitation, 60% tonight, 30% Thursday and 10% Thursday night. Winds southerly, 10 to 20 miles an hour, shifting to northwesterly, 10 to 20 miles an hour, and gusty tonight. An also temperature at 839 on Pendle Road, a chilly 30 degrees. In Burr Lives. You quietly Time flies so quickly You lie there In silence And I Touch you softly There Is a tingle Of love's burning ember How can I no love after you I'll never no love after you See you smile and the touch of your hand brings flaming desire Understand when I'm with you, I feel you. I want you forever. Where can I go after you? I'll never know love after you. In my life, that's 
could never no letter after you I could never no letter after up to the candy store We shared a light I was five and you were four You always did the counting and gave me a little more and ain't love now Ain't love now Hand in hand we walked up to the preacher man And promised that we'd share a light and understand Then we walked off into the world You a woman, me a man And ain't that love now Ain't it love now Lord, it wasn't easy There's been storms and complications Tears and aggravations And some sad situations But a house with love's foundation Is a home and God's creation Ain't that real love? Ain't love now? Hand in hand we walk to the waiting door Side by side we rode up to the second floor Where you gave me a son that we'd both dreamed about so long Ain't it love now? Ain't that love now? Hand in hand we walk now in December We share like each secret we remember The love light's burning low But there's a never-burning ember Ain't that real love? Remember when Hand in hand we walk down to the candy store We share like I was five and you were four You always did the counting and gave me a little more Ain't that love now, it's still love now Ain't that love now, it's still love now Glow Gang, give the world a smile.
WPDH, Poughkeepsie, New York. The word for the upper and lower Hudson Valley, mostly cloudy, becoming windy and turning colder tonight, with occasional snow likely. Lows in the teens to low 20s. Thursday, variable cloudiness, windy and cold, with a chance of further flurries, high 25 to 30. Partial clearing Thursday night, continued windy and cold, low 0 to 10 above. Friday, partly cloudy, high in the 20s. Probability of precipitation, 60% tonight, 30% Thursday, and 10% Thursday night. Wind southerly, 10 to 20 miles an hour, shifting to northwesterly, 10 to 20 miles an hour, and gusty tonight, northwesterly, 15 to 25 miles. Temperature at 5 minutes after 9 on Pendel Road, a chilly 30 degrees. If nobody loves you, babe, create the demand. The Blackwoods Brothers with the power of positive thinking. If nobody loves you, create the demand. Seven minutes after nine in Jennifer Country, Jim Ed Brown. And Jim Ed Brown going back to barroom pals and good time gals. Ten minutes after nine o'clock, WPDH time. Standing for a worthwhile, persuasive, dynamic, and half the radio. George Morgan by special request for you, Joe. Suddenly you touched me And my heart could see Everything that mattered once Is nothing now to me From this moment forward Love is first and last My future will be filled with you As you begin my path And from this moment on I'll wrap my dreams around This moment on, I'll hold you in my heart, and the history of love we're making, gladly giving, gladly taking each other's love. 
George Morgan, gladly giving, gladly taking from this moment on. Thirteen minutes after nine, Tanya Tucker with some prudent advice. Don't make your love the choking kind. Let it breathe. Don't make your love the choking kind. Sixteen and change after nine o'clock in Jennifer Country. Fantastic new song by Mickey Gilly. Who else? Really super album. Title song. She's an overnight sensation. Overnight sensation. She'll only stay and love you till the morning takes her home. Nineteen minutes after nine o'clock, Deborah Barber. You can't follow where he's been. To make me love again Wine is sweet You're here with me And the lights are down I should have the feelings Of a woman satisfied But he loved me Then he left me That's when my feelings die You can't follow where he's been I wish you could take his place But every time I close my eyes I still see his face
Barber, you can't follow where he's been. That's one in a series of several songs along the same line. Uh, Hank Williams Jr. I think did one. He can't fill my shoes. Jerry Lee Lewis. He can't fill my shoes. That's who it was. And I think Hank Williams Jr. did one also in the series. Came out about the time everybody was going through flower songs, bed of roses and brand new bed of roses and uh, a couple of others. Twenty-three minutes after nine o'clock. If you were mine to lose. Let you go Cause that would mean You once Belonged to me I'd gladly Take the heartaches Of losing You someday Cause then At least I'd have Some memories Through all the years I've known you, you've never noticed me. Just a friend, that's all I've been to you. I'd gladly let you break my heart for just one memory. Just to know. If I could only hold you just one time For one short moment Heaven would be mine If you were mine I'd gladly let you go Just to know that you Just to know that you were mine to lose. 26 minutes after 9 o'clock in Jennifer Country, Andrew Willis only for my man.
For my man, Andrew Willis. 27 minutes after 9 o'clock, Dotsy Storms Never Last. It's a good country evening at WPDH.
Linda Ronstadt, Love is a Rose. This is Bill Dolan, WPDH News. A dirty trick pulled on the office for the aging. Director Lou Glass says the office had planned on helping senior citizens with rides to the polls today, but Mrs. Glass says... Four telephone lines of this office have been tied up throughout this election day by crank calls, making it almost impossible for any senior citizen in need to call us. In order to circumvent these dirty tricks played upon older persons, the First Presbyterian Church is making available their telephones. All requests for transportation, as well as assistance with other problems, should be directed today to the First Presbyterian Church, 471-1214. Mrs. Glass wouldn't speculate who is responsible, but she says it's obviously coming from a candidate who's afraid how the senior citizens will vote. That number again is 471-1214. Country Boy, from Glenn Campbell. This is Country Lovin' at Stereo 101.5, WPDH Poughkeepsie. Country Lovin'. We used to. On Country Lovin', That's Dolly, Dolly Parton. Parton. On Country Lovin'. I can see clearly now the rain is gone I can see all the obstacles in my way Gone are the dark clouds that had me down It's gonna be a bright, bright, sunshiny day I can make it now, the pain is gone All of the bad feelings have disappeared Here is the rainbow I've been praying for It's gonna be a bright, bright, sunshiny day
shiny day. Get some country loving this afternoon at WPDH. On country loving Narvel Feltz. And ain't it funny how time slips away? Well, hello there. My, it's been a long, long time. How am I doing? Oh, I guess that I'm doing fine. It's been so long now, yet it seems like it was only yesterday. Porous Parish invites you to celebrate the feast of their patron saint, St. Martin de Porras. This fiesta will be held Friday evening, November 7th, on the grounds of St. Martin de Porras Church and School at Cedar Valley Road, Red Oak Mills, Poughkeepsie. A joyful Eucharistic celebration will open the fiesta at 6.30 p.m. in the church. A procession will follow, leading the people to the school auditorium and to the big tent, where lots of fun will be offered to all. Entertainment, music, dancing, skill, and party games. Refreshments, colorful food booths. Don't miss this opportunity to enjoy a wonderful night with your family and friends. Come to St. Martin de Porres Fiesta, Friday night, November 7th, beginning at 6.30 p.m. at St. Martin de Porres Parish, Cedar Valley Road, Red Oak Mills, Poughkeepsie. Hula Bidee! Hula Bidee! Let us all praise the Lord. The Dutchess County Department of Health offers influenza vaccine shots at the clinic to be conducted November 7th from 11 a.m. to 12 noon at the Pleasant Valley Town Hall, Route 44, Pleasant Valley. The vaccine is recommended for persons over 45 years of age and especially over 65. Additional information may be called by calling 485-9834. That's the Department of Health offering influenza vaccine shots in Pleasant Valley, 485-9834. A combined book fair and open school night takes place at San Columba School, Route 82 Hopewell Junction on November 6th and 7th from 7 to 9 p.m., and everyone is welcome. 
Goalie Trinity's Holiday Bazaar takes place on November 7th at the church, Main Street, Arlington, Poughkeepsie, from 6 p.m. to 10 p.m., and on November 8th from 9 a.m. to 10 p.m. Get on Raphael's scrapbook. Simply address your card or letter to WPDH, P.O. Box 416, Poughkeepsie, 12601. I'm sorry. On Country Lovin', this is Johnny Denver. John Denver on Country Lovin'. I felt more like running away, but why should I go? Because I couldn't stay without you. You got me singing the blues. Just full of country loving on WPDH. Considerable sunshine, windy and mild this afternoon. Temperatures in the upper 60s and lower 70s. Partly cloudy tonight and tomorrow. The breezy and cooler tonight. Temperatures dropping into the upper 40s. Highs Wednesday in the middle 60s. Winds west to northwest 15 to 25 miles an hour with higher gusts this afternoon. 10 to 20 miles an hour tonight. That's the forecast for the lower Hudson Valley. This is Rocky. On Country Lovin', Dickie Lee. Country Lovin' sound of Dickie Lee with Rocky. We couldn't call it love Cause it really wasn't love anymore Yet we couldn't call it hate Cause there's no way to hate someone you've loved so much before We couldn't call it living cause it wasn't still alive We couldn't call it dead cause it refused to die We ran out of anything to call it So we called it quits 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 We called it quits It sounds like the easy way out but oh, when it gets The longer you live with someone you can't live with The harder it gets We called it magic, then we called it tragic Finally we, we called it quits It's always been harder to fall out of love than fall in I don't know where I'm going, but I doubt if I'll ever forget where I've been. We couldn't call it happy, though it was for a while. We couldn't call it sad, because it taught us both to smile. For lack of a better word to call it, we called it quits. 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 We called it quits. It sounds like the easy way out, but oh, when it gets. The 
longer you live with someone you can't live with, the harder it gets. We called it lovely, then we called it lonely, finally we called it quits. We called it magic, then we called it tragic, finally we called it... Good lighting forms an essential part of interior furnishings. As important as its function to give the room correct illumination is the necessity that it creates the right atmosphere. Since a large part of one's time at home must be spent in artificial light, Danish Design Center offers a wide range of well-designed lights that fit naturally into any interior. Danish Design Center 389 Main Mall, Poughkeepsie, for lighting with a different atmosphere. If you have a business in eastern Dutchess County, you should be advertising in the Harlem Valley Times every week. Nowhere else does your advertising dollar get the coverage offered by this weekly newspaper in Amenia, Millerton, Wasaic, Dover Plains, Wingdale, Pauling, and Millbrook, too. To obtain a rate card, just write Harlem Valley Times, Amenia, New York, 12501, or call them at 373-8800. Harlem Valley Times, since 1852, covering all the events of the eastern end of Dutchess County. Country Love It from WPDH. On Country Love and Sonny James. What in the world's come over you? Seems we never get along. Every night I reminisce. Dreaming of your tender kisses What in the world's come over you? Will you ever change your mind? If you do, I'll still be here, dear Waiting, longing for you So never dream I'd miss you so now alone in my room each night my heart is crying it's just not right oh but in the world's come over you could you ever change your mind? Still be here, dear, waiting, longing for you. All my life I've loved you so. Never dreamed I'd miss you so. Now alone in my room each night, my heart is crying. It's just not right, oh, what in the world's come over you? You're still my angel from above. Yes, you'll always be my one and all. And this is Billy Joe Spears with Silver Wings and Golden Rings. This is Bill Doe on WPDH News. It's completely in Judge Aldridge's hands now to decide if Lewis Austin.
57 degrees. Uh, weatherman says overcast and gray through the day and uh, a bit cooler than usual. That's all right. That's all right. I was very busy this morning in the wake of the primaries yesterday. Well, the news for you in about uh, 11 minutes or so. It's 19 past 6 o'clock. 57 degrees. going to be a cloudy and cool day. Partly sunny intermittently, huh? Here's Ray Price, babe. Run through life's meadows. Don't stub your toe doing it, though. Run through life's meadows. The rich green fields. Have yourself a hundred thrills. When you're ready to come home, I'll still love you. Go sing the song you long to sing. While you're gone, remember one thing. When you're ready to come home, I'll still love you. So I know how I feel to watch someone else doing the things you want to do. Run through the rain, run through the sunshine. Once again, just bear in mind when you're ready to come home, I'll still love you. After six. Jack Daniels is a holiday every morning. Daniel Seven degrees and overcast and gray, and the roads are a little bit slippery this morning. Go carefully, will you? Oh, such. This WPDH Poughkeepsie Glen up coming with the news, and Cotter and Bob Getty invite you to Millbrook and Franklin Avenue there, friends, where you'll find Getty Ford. And the 1976 Ford of your choice, along with all that great Getty service and a fine array of Getty road tested used cars, too. Upcoming for the good guys at Hendon Pools, 9G, Hyde Park, New York. Stay tuned, I'll tell you how you can win one.
46 degrees, a light rain is 6.30. This is Glenn Laxton reporting. An independent survey conducted by a police psychologist throughout the city of Poughkeepsie has come up with statistics showing people lean toward favoring the men in blue. Fifteen questions were put to 300 people, or 1% of the total population. They ranged from treatment to respect and were asked to everyone from teen groups to senior citizens. Imtiaz Malak, who's been with the department since October as a psychologist and who'll be paid with community development funds, supervised the survey. Malak says women and older people gave a better evaluation than men and young folks. Opens that one is uh, family psychodynamics are changing, okay. Yeah. Family life dictates certain certain things and those 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 ingredients are not there. So you you displace all that and, and the first place you go to is, is the agency or uh, institution that's closest to you. And if you are living in a, in a poor area, okay, let's say where, where predominantly your parents have negative attitudes anyway towards, towards police, um, you would be, you would be likely to develop those attitudes from your parents. And youth with, with a poor planning as it exists now and with the economic and unemployment situation uh, seems to be uh, negativistic. Chief Callahan was surprised but pleased at the report. Soon there'll be a training program started in Poughkeepsie. Uh, all in these areas for policemen and after it another survey will be taken. There were a couple of budgets unveiled last night in the area. $17.9 million item adopted by the Arlington Board of Education. That goes before the voters June 9th. A $11.9 million budget adopted by the Poughkeepsie Board of Education. That does not go before the board, uh, the uh, public as far as a vote goes, but there will be a hearing. Board President Thomas Siniglia described the thinking behind the adoption of this budget. It's a very optimistic budget. The board had given direction to uh, Superintendent Saltmarsh to look to the brighter side of things and saying that the money from Albany or whatever taxing authority was going to be granted and that uh, he should put together a budget which would reflect the necessary expenses for the upcoming year with the existing programs in force. Thomas Siniglia, there was also a budget adopted unanimously. Uh, the Siniglia is saying the board was not pleased with the cut in funds for the drug abuse program, but the board decided to finish out that program this year anyway. That was Reagan and Ford winning. So was Church and Jimmy Carter winners. Details in half a minute. Friends, Hendon's giving away a pool. Imagine that. Summertime full of fun, recreation right in your own backyard. And free. No purchase necessary. To enter this fantastic contest to win that pool, all you have to do is send your name and a postcard. Your name and address, mail it to Hendon Pools, Route 9, G. Hyde Park. Special entry blanks are available at the Hendon Showrooms. Drawings will be held June 5th. You'll be notified if you're the big winner of a beautiful Hendon all aluminum steel pool on the ground pool, huh? You don't have to buy a thing to enter either. All you do is send your name and a postcard to Hendon Pools, Route 9G, Hyde Park, New York, and good luck. Challenger Ronald Reagan and during dumb President Ford in yesterday's Nebraska primary. On the Democratic side, Senator Frank Church scored a surprise upset victory over Jimmy Carter. Carter won in Connecticut. Ford took the GOP balloting in West Virginia, while favorite son Robert Byrd won the Democratic race there. Aftershocks from last week's big earthquake took two more lives late last night in northeastern Italy. At Bethesda Naval Medical Center, 59-year-old Massachusetts Congressman Torbett McDonald is reportedly gravely ill. There's no indication of what's wrong with him, but an aide says he's dying, and the lawmaker asked to have life support systems removed from his room. Pravda says today the Soviet Union will do all it can to reach agreement with the U.S. on limitation of nuclear weapons. The Communist Party newspaper cites the big cost of strategic arms as a key reason for Moscow's willingness to come to terms. The weather word, cloudy this morning, followed by partly clearing in the afternoon and unseasonably cool with the high 60 to 65. Mostly clear tonight with the low in the mid to upper 30s and mostly sunny tomorrow, high in the mid 60s. Winds becoming northwest at 10 to 17 miles an hour and 5 to 10 miles an hour tonight. It's 57 degrees. For news as it happens, keep tuned to WEOK or WPDH. This is Glenn Laxton reporting.
with a bow of gorgeous And then we started to fight I don't know what makes me do these things that I do Stick on the saddle and down the stairs Or just keep a passing through Hill there, 22 before 7 o'clock. Daniels. I'll drink to that. All right, 22 before 7 there for our friends. 57 degrees, going to be uh, partly sunny later on today, but right now it's overcast and kind of gray and a little bit soggy. Here's Susie Thompson at 22 front of 7, never naughty Rosie. Sing the song. If it were not for never.
Busted flat in Baton Rouge Heading for the train Feeling nearly faded as my jeans Bobby thumbed the diesel down Just before it rained Took us all the way to New Orleans I took my harpoon out of my dirty red bandana And was blowing sad while Bobby sang the blues With the windshield wiper slapping time Bobby clapping hands We finally sang up every song that driver knew Just another word for nothing left to lose Nothing ain't worth nothing, but it's free Feeling good was easy, Lord, when Bobby sang the blues Feeling good was good enough for me Good enough for me, Bobby McGee From the coal mines of Kentucky to the California sun Bobby shared the secrets of my soul Standing right beside me, Lord, through everything I'd done And every night she kept me from the cold Then somewhere near Salinas, Lord, I let her slip away Looking for the home I hope she'll find I trade all of my tomorrows for a single yesterday Holding Bobby's body next to mine Freedom's just another word for nothing left to lose Nothing's left is all she left for me Bobby sang the blues Feeling good was good enough for me Good enough for me, Bobby WPDH for Gypsy. 15 before 7 News next with Glenn. Seven degrees at 6.45. This is Glenn Laxton reporting. Route 376 at, from Boardman Road to Cedar Valley is closed. There was an accident there late last night. No serious injuries, but a car knocked down a pole, knocked down wires all over the place, and consequently the road will be closed for a while. So stay out of there. Boardman Road and the Cedar Valley at 376 is closed, according to the town of Poughkeepsie Police. A trailer on St. George Road, Dover Plains, late Tuesday, destroyed in a fire. Owner Pat Lido owned the 14-foot mobile home, but nobody was hurt. Fire people say the blaze started in a rear bedroom. Police and government officials gathering at Moore School in Poughkeepsie last night to allow residents of the 1st, 3rd, and 5th Ward to speak out on crime. Nobody, but nobody showed up except the police chief, the police captain, the mayor, alderman from Ward 3, a member of the clergy, a police psychologist, me... 
Uh, the north side of the city, Ward 3 especially, is where most of the crime takes place in the city. And that's Alfred Wiles' ward. I feel until we get more walking patrolmen, until we get to more, uh, you know, uh, coverage on the streets, especially in the crime areas, uh, you know, you're still going to have crime. As you know, uh, uh, our department... Uh, is getting bigger all the time, our police department, and uh, the city is getting smaller as far as population, as you know, and uh, it seems like uh, the crime is, in, you know, has, uh, has uh, you know, increased, uh, I'd say, uh, 40% more than what it was maybe 10 years ago. Alderman Alfred Weil, Ward 3 in the city of Poughkeepsie. Mayor Romick was furious that no uh, members of the public showed up, so he's scheduled a meeting again for the 25th, that's two weeks from last night, on, in the uh, training room at the police station in City Hall, 7.30. The City of Poughkeepsie Board of Education has unveiled its budget for 1976-77. It's a tentative budget, although the public does not vote on it. The board will after some hearings. It's $11.9 million. Board President Thomas Siniglia said the board was not pleased with various cuts for the drug abuse program, but the board decided to finish out the program at least this year. The document is only tentative. It certainly may not bear any relationship to the final document, which will be adopted on June 30th by law but does give him a benchmark from which to shoot at this point in trying to program plan at least for the next month for the following year. Thomas Siniglia, president of the Board of Education in the city of Poughkeepsie. Arlington has a new budget, too. It's up quite a bit. It goes to the voters June 9th, and I'll have details on it in 60 seconds. When you get a headache or a cold or acid indigestion, what do you do about it? Take a non-prescription medicine, right? Well, that's what a lot of Americans are doing. Because that's what non-prescription drugs are for, temporary relief of minor symptoms. And they work fine when you use them properly. But maybe you didn't know. Prolonged or improper use of a non-prescription drug may aggravate your symptoms, hide a condition that needs a doctor's attention, or lead to some other undesirable result. To get the best results from non-prescription medicines, read the label and follow directions carefully on every product you use. The label will tell you when to take the medicine, how often, how much, and when not to take it. So, a word of advice from the Food and Drug Administration. Read the label. Don't take non-prescription medicines for granted. Take them with care. This is a public service message from the Food and Drug Administration. You're welcome. A $17.9 million budget goes before the Allington voters on June the 9th, and we get details from Larry Fallis who's a spokesman for the board. If approved on June 9th by district residents, the amount to be raised by a tax on local property will be $9,308,899, up 1.86%, or $170,245 over the current year. Although there is a slight increase in the amount to be raised locally, the board is still going to try to achieve no increase in taxes. For the current school year, the tax rate is $24.95 per thousand of full value. The board's goal is to maintain that same rate for 1976-77 school year. Larry Fallis, a spokesman for the Arlington Board of Education. The weather were cloudy this morning, partly clearing this afternoon, unseasonably cool, high about 60 to 65. Mostly clear tonight, low in the mid to upper 30s, and mostly sunny tomorrow, high in the mid 60s. Winds northwest at 10 to 17 miles an hour, and 5 to 10 by tonight. There's a light drizzle out there, ever so misty and slight at uh, 10 to 7, and it's 57 degrees. For news as it happens, keep tuned to WEOK or WPDH. This is Glenn Laxton reporting. A uh, little sunny sunrise at 7 before 7 o'clock. Danny Murray there, that's nice. Now we've got the uh, school luncheon program, friends, for the good folks at Williams Lumber in Rhinebeck. All right, let's start with the Oakwood School today. Listen to this menu. they got lentil soup, fried chicken. Mm. Yeah, relish items. What's going on out there? Orange apple jello. Cookie, milk, tea, and coffee. So many, isn't it? Like the local restaurant for crying out loud. Uh, today at uh, Rhinebeck, they've got uh, grilled cheese sandwiches, tomato soup, celery, and carrot sticks, and jello. A barbecued chicken, risotto rice, hot mixed vegetables, cranberry sauce, fruit jello square, uh, soft roll, or a soft ball, we're not sure. Butter, milk, tomato okra soup, and that's in Wappinger Central. 
at the junior and senior high school in Wavagers. They're going to have uh, cooked salami, American cheese, lettuce, mustard, Italian bread, celery and carrot sticks, peach uh, slice, cookie and milk, and that ain't bad. Meat sauce over spag today, friends, at New Pulse. And uh, they've got uh, in Pine Plains spaghetti and meatballs or meatball grinders, if you want. Uh, let me see. Oh, who, who's it? What is this? No school at Roosevelt Conference today, it says here, Hyde Park Central School District. Is that right? No school at Roosevelt today? It goes to a conference? Anyway, pizza squares, cheese bar, buttered vegetable, tossed salad, milk, jello cube. Breakfast is uh, peanut butter sandwich, juice, and milk. What are you going to serve that for if they got uh, no school? Oh, I see for the rest of the district. That's right. Ha. Ah, horror. Yeah, right. Yeah. Uh, Liberty Bell menu today in Arlington. Ben Franklin roast beef and Bunker Hill potatoes. I remember those. Thomas Jefferson salad. Independent surprise. Uh, Liberty Bell roll butter declaration drink. All right. Juice. French toast and milk is the breakfast today. It's back and kill Junior. In the green bag, they're going with the hot meatball thing. And in the white bag, they got salami on a roll. At Spack and Kill Elementary, friends, they've got uh, lemonade, chilled lemonade, all beef hamburger with a bun, or a cheeseburger if you want, buttered corn on the cob, homemade chocolate chip cookie, and milk, all right? Williams Lumber sending you this whole thing here. If you haven't shopped at Williams Lumber, then, friend, you haven't bought the best quality building material you could have, because Williams Lumber is the progressive building material center in the Mid-Hudson area. Now you can take advantage of the big sale on Sapplin products, the finest polyurethane redwood stain, just seven ninety nine a gallon. Easy to use latex redwood stain, just three forty nine a gallon. Both are famous name Sapplin products, now reduced at Williams Lumber with locations in Rhinebeck, Salt Point, and Red Hook. Got you, Ralph. Thank you. It's four before seven o'clock, and that's the uh, school luncheon program. Sent you away with the good wishes of the good guys at Williams Lumber. Four before seven. Here's Country Charlie Pride. <laughs> Upcoming from United Press International in New York. And then we got the Valley Update for Bowman Sales and Service with Glenn and Sports the Dodge World. With Glenn again on WPDH Poughkeepsie. It's 1 before 7 o'clock. It's uh, what, 57 degrees and a very light drizzle falling. To the Jack Daniels Travesty till 10. Good morning. Jack Daniels. Michael O'Neill. Good morning. They've counted 93% of the vote cast in the Nebraska primary, and Senator Frank Church is leading Jimmy Carter by one percentage point. Church said earlier a strong second place finish in Nebraska would get his late starting campaign moving, but when it appeared late last night he might beat Carter, Church told supporters it was a miracle. We came to Nebraska full of faith that a miracle could be pulled off here. And our faith was well reposed in the people of this state. So we'll always remember, whatever the future holds, as we move forward, that for us, it started here. Church trailed Carter in polls prior to the Nebraska primary. Carter's response, I can't win them all. Carter won the Connecticut primary, where only Democrats voted. 
Ronald Reagan beat President Ford in Nebraska. President Ford beat Reagan in West Virginia. This is UPI World News. Hubert Humphrey said he would like to give Jimmy Carter some coaching at the time the senator announced he would not get into the active race for the Democratic presidential nomination. But UPI correspondent Pye Chamberlain says Humphrey apparently has balked at the opportunity. Jimmy Carter says he tried but failed last week to set up a meeting with Hubert Humphrey, who is the captain of the Stop Carter team, or maybe the coach. Humphrey wouldn't do it. And I am the child. teacher, baby. It's uh, 18 after 6 o'clock. Ooh, that's Dresky. What are you playing there, a Calliope? What is it, Calliope? <laughs> it's a Calliope, you hockey puck. If you need me, Ooh, if you love me, why don't you shove me back in your heart? Well, it must be that you don't trust me with something as touchy As a love torn apart Making eyes Is only foolish and vain Making lies Will only trip us up again Making love is not an easy game Cause there's no one around When my room gets dark
the shelter of perfection. I guess directions are all the same. If I was able, I would cradle your shining face in my two hands again when we meet. On the border again, it won't be hard for me to say who will win. I drain the bottle and watch it spin. I see no lover or friend when my room gets dark again. I drain the bottle and watch it spin. I see no lover or friend. When my room gets dark again 21 after 6 o'clock 621 here when this room gets dark again That's Drusky, babe, alright It's uh, 621, 34 degrees Do you believe that? Wasn't it a lovely summer? Yes, <laughs> Four degrees and 24 past six o'clock is Bobby Ben. When I was a little girl in Dixie, I used to chase the fireflies. Then I grew up and I started chasing the guy. Teenage romance was just the thing till I got in a family way. Now I'm on my own and working in a cheap cafe Waiting on tables and passing myself around Dixie girl in a small talk, in a small town I fall in love every day with someone who ends up just right away and I'm dreaming I'm with him Going down that westbound highway One night a man walked in He smiled And ordered coffee black Took me for a ride In his brand new Cadillac Told me he loved me With all his heart I told him I loved him too He said goodbye Dixie, I'll be back for you Well I'm waiting on tables and passing myself around Dixie girl, you're the small talk in a small talk town I fall in love every day with someone who ends up just right Away. And I'm dreaming I'm with him Going down that westbound highway Now all I do is read those Hollywood photograph magazines Work my shift for tips and live alone in my dreams I'm a Dixie girl who prays someday She'll be a Delta queen Find a good man who raise me and my baby But I'm waiting on tables and passing myself around Girl, you're the small talk in a small talk town. I fall in love every day with someone who ends up just driving away. And I'm dreaming I'm with him going down that westbound highway. It's 35 and clear at 6.30. This is Glenn Laxton reporting. Commerce Commissioner John Dyson is painting a grim picture again of the industrial climate of New York. Dyson, guest speaker at the annual dinner of the Poughkeepsie Area Chamber of Commerce last night, 
saying that he'd been in the job a little over four months. He was worried. And his talk left little doubt the state of New York needs to overhaul its tax structure, both corporate and personal. He lays a great deal of blame directly to the door of the state legislature, saying that they deal with petty problems. The real issue, says Dyson, is that it just costs large manufacturers too much to locate in New York State or, in fact, remain here. And he spoke of the large unemployment rate we have. Well, the, the national figure is 7.5% unemployment. And if you look at that seriously, we're not just 2.5 percentage points ahead uh, in unemployment, which is to say behind in employment of the rest of the nation, but we're really 33 percent higher unemployment in the state of New York than we are in the rest of the nation. Get rid of the big negative, he says, and you'll get more industry attracted in and more industry staying here. And he says that's taxes. The Area Chamber of Commerce in Poughkeepsie is starting a drive of economic development, a couple of big phases concerning uh, keeping people here. Thomas Johnson, who's the head of the chairman of the Economic Development Committee, says economic development has to play an important role in our future, more so than in the past. A marketing plan will be developed aimed at attracting shoppers to come into the area, and a second phase to be developed concurrently would be the development of a marketing plan aimed at attracting new business into the area. It's getting underway right now. Johnson says he wants to enlist the help of various chambers of commerce all over the county and governmental bodies, including the county legislature. Pleasant Valley's town board is on record as opposing establishment of the county district court system proposed by members of the county legislature. There'll be a public informational hearing on this May 26th, 7.30 at the town hall. City of Poughkeepsie Finance Committee Chairman Colette La Fuente is against the City Police Benevolence Association contract for 1976. Mrs. La Fuente thinks the 9% increase gives the PBA too much. She said the other unions got 6% in 76 and 9% for the PBA is a bad precedent to set. And also, she said, the city really doesn't have the money. I do not know where the money will come from in the 1976 budget, the total amount that is being uh, requested. It will necessitate in 1977 either a tax increase or layoffs. The city budget is already in a critical financial condition with $600,000 of it being funded with the federal community development funds. Although the negotiations have been going on between the city manager and the PBA for about three months, the council hadn't yet been brought into the picture according to Lafayette. Mayor Ahmed told me the other night, next Monday, they're going to vote favorably on the contract. Kissinger calls Ronald Reagan's position on the Ca Panama Canal a foreign policy disaster, and he said he'd quit the administration if he's becoming a political embarrassment. One of the stories I'll get to in a half a minute. Well, Hendon's giving away a swimming pool, friends. Imagine that. Summertime, full of fun and recreation right in your own backyard. Free. No purchase necessary, either. To enter this fantastic contest and win that Hendon pool, all you have to do is... And uh, to enter, rather, is uh, put your name and address in the postcard, mail it to Hendon Pools, Route 9G, Hyde Park. Special entry bikes are available, too, at the Hendon showrooms. And the drawing will be held June 5th, 1976. And you'll be notified if you're the big winner of that beautiful Hendon Aluma Steel on the ground pool. You don't have to buy a thing to enter. All you have to do is send a postcard to Hendon Pools, Route 9G, Hyde Park, New York. Here now is Glenn. In an interview published today by the Hearst newspaper chain, State Secretary Henry Kissinger says Ronald Reagan's position on the Panama Canal Treaty would be a foreign policy disaster. Kissinger also says he'd be willing to leave the Ford administration if he's becoming a political embarrassment to the president. The Soviets reportedly are pressuring Lebanese leftists to end their objections to Syria's efforts to resolve the civil war. But there is widespread fighting in the countryside today. With the death toll in Italy's earthquake ravaged northeast standing at 900, Vice President Nelson Rockefeller plans to tour the stricken area today and then go back to Washington to report to President Ford. The weather word mostly sunny today, the high about 70. Clear tonight, low in the middle 40s. Sunny tomorrow, followed by increasing cloudiness late in the afternoon, the high in the mid to upper 70s. Right now, 36 degrees, sunny. For news as it happens, keep tuned to WEOK or WPDH. This is Glenn Laxton reporting. Met the girl that I want to get to know a little better Tonight I'm gonna take her to the picture show Gonna park in the darkest spot I know I got a question that I never asked anybody else before Love me all of my life, don't wanna go without you, don't wanna be high. 
out in the cold without you no more. Help me make it to my rocking chair. Been saving my good times for the good. Would you hold me and never ever let me go? at 20 before 7 o'clock. Here's Mel Tennis, the woman in back of my life.
name is the Nashville Brass. And let me be there. Oh, baby, let me be there. 17 in front of 7 o'clock, and Glenn's next with the news. RWPDH for Kipsy. It's 34 degrees this morning. But the 13th of May, it's a brass monkey morning. Crazy weather keeps up. We're going to have the Giants going against Philadelphia over the weekend. And the Jets will play Houston. At Houston. at 7, 645. This is Glenn Laxton reporting. Commerce Commissioner John Dyson continues his attack on the industrial climate of the Empire State, saying he's worried about the state's tax structure for both the corporate and personal income. Right. We have lost 176,000 jobs in the state of New York in 1976 alone. Uh, we have lost more than three quarters of a million since 1970. And uh, now more than one third of our industrial plant is obsolete. And you ask yourself the question, can we ever replace it? Think about a minute. One-third of all the factories in the state of New York are now obsolete. Dyson laid a lot of the blame on the state legislature, which, he says, deals with petty problems. He was addressing the Chamber of Commerce annual dinner in Poughkeepsie last night. The national unemployment figure, he pointed out, is 7.5. New York State is 10. And another way to look at it, he says, is that New York State is about 33% higher than anywhere else in the country. Get rid of that major negative, high taxes, says Dyson, and you've got industry not only staying here, but moving in instead of out. The Chamber of Commerce is going to try and do something about that in a couple of phases, saying the economic development must play an even more important role in our future. The Greater Poughkeepsie Area Chamber of Commerce has announced a drive to beef up its economic activity. A marketing plan aimed at bringing shoppers downtown and another to bring new business into the area has been announced by the Chamber's Economic Development Committee Chairman Director Thomas Johnson. Create a marketing plan that will attract shoppers into our area and beyond that to attract new business and industry. Our Economic Development Committee will find ways to assist business and industry already here. Protecting existing jobs as the highest priority. Poughkeepsie will enlist the support of not only its other fellow chambers, but also of county government. A citizens committee wants to see some banks, a parking area, malls, and all sorts of things at the railroad station in Poughkeepsie. Details coming up. speaking on behalf of the Air Force Reserve to all you ex-flying officers. You know all about the pay and the benefits, but there's another reason to join the Reserve right now. It needs you. It needs your flying skills and your leadership, and it will return your dedication with a second income and a feeling of a job well done. For more information, see your local Air Force recruiter.
The Citizens Committee on Transportation set up by the county legislature wants to see a bank, a parking area, mini malls, stores, and a transportation center set up at the Poughkeepsie Railroad Station. It also wants to use the old building as a landmark to boost the lower Main Street area. The building should be saved, they say, because it could be used for all those purposes. As enough room, the committee based in Hyde Park has been quietly working toward this end and yesterday met with the County Citizens Advisory Committee on Transportation to make their plans known. Its chairman is Patricia Howes. We wanted to get the general information to the Transportation Committee of the County Legislature of what we were trying to do down at the station in creating a transportation center and to tell them the problems that we are having with it, what we hope to do with it, and what we hope to accomplish with it. Now, she says, they're just waiting for a little money. There'll be an informational session Monday night at 7.30 by the Poughkeepsie Town Board on a proposed bond issue to fund storm drain projects throughout the town. Supervisor Ann Buckholt said there'd been flooding problems throughout the town during heavy storms because builders haven't been forced to provide adequate drainage systems for their housing developments. State police say the cold weather was on their side yesterday as law officers waited out a four-and-a-half-hour siege in which a young convicted murderer held his former girlfriend hostage. Late yesterday afternoon, 34-year-old Edward Byrne of Poughkeepsie surrendered to his parole officer who'd been flown to the Rensselaer County community of East Greenbush to talk with the suspect. The girl, 20-year-old Irene Race of Poughkeepsie, was released unharmed. The parole officer of Millbrook, Jeb Kirkman, said one factor they probably averted tragedy was he knew me. He didn't know anybody else except the girl, and I just kept telling him that he had to give me the gun and nobody would get hurt. Right now, Byrne is up in the Rensselaer County Jail in Troy following arraignment last night before town of Shodak Justice Thomas Snow on a charge of first-degree kidnapping, a charge of illegal possession of a weapon, three charges of reckless endangerment. No bail is set right now. Byrne was released from prison last November after serving 12 years of a 20-year-to-life term for the rifle shooting of his father-in-law in Mineola in 1963. The weather word, mostly sunny today with a high about 70. Tonight, clear, low in the mid-40s, and tomorrow, sunny, followed by increasing cloudiness late in the day, high in the mid to upper 70s. 38 degrees and sunny. For news as it happens, keep tuned to WEOK or WPDH. This is Glenn Laxton reporting. That's old big ears there in the first thing every morning, last thing every night. Jimmy Day. Seven before seven o'clock. Cold morning, friends. 37, 35 degrees somewhere in there, and it's cold. And that's from the year of the great diamond needle shortage, that record. I think I did that to that needle. I think I wore it out. I think I must have taken it in the driveway and stomped on it a couple of hundred times. We've got uh, the uh, school luncheon program next for you. And uh, you want to hear that, friends, because we got all those good things for the, for the troops out there this morning. All right, uh, we're doing that for Williams Lumber. And let me start off with the uh, Spack and Kill Elementary today. They got chilled apple juice, real Italian pizza, lettuce salad with dressing, peanut butter, pudding. Peanut butter pudding. I don't know. Milk. Spack and Kill Junior High in the green bag. You got a hot meatball sandwich and orange juice together. And uh, cheese, lettuce, and tomato on bun and chips in the in the white bag there. All right. Now, in Arlington today, hamburgers, french fries, buttered carrots, lemon pie, roll and milk, and juice cereal milk for the breakfast there in Arlington. And for breakfast in Hyde Park, banana, cereal, milk. Salisbury steak for lunch with gravy, whipped potatoes, buttered vegetable, um, biscuit, butter, milk, ice cream. We'll have more after this. If you haven't shopped at Williams Lumber, then, Fran, you haven't bought the best quality building material you could have because Williams Lumber is the progressive building material center in the Mid-Hudson area. Now you can take advantage of the big sale on Sapolin products, the finest polyurethane redwood stain, just $7.99 a gallon. Easy to use latex redwood stain, just $3.49 a gallon. Both are famous named Sapolin products, now reduced at Williams Lumber with locations in Rhinebeck, Salt Point, and Red Hook. Good, Ralph. All right. Sloppy Joe's today on a roll, or a Frankfurter on a roll. Yankee baked beans, sauerkraut, vegetable, jello, whipped topping, milk, that kind of carrying on. Where you say? Pine Plains is where. In New Paul's today, they've got uh, chilled fruit juice, homemade beef stew over noodles, bread, butter, cube jello, whipped topping, and milk. Oh, yeah, the goodies are flowing today. 
roast beef, lettuce and mustard, Italian bread, carrot wheels, pickles, uh, pear cubes, milk cookie in Waffingers today at the junior and senior high schools. Waffingers Central today, they're going to have uh, roast beef strips. Gravy, mashed potatoes, raw vegetable cup, carrots, celery, that kind of thing, you know, green peppers, ice cream cup, whole wheat bread, butter, milk, barley soup. Barley soup. Yes, yes, barley soup. In Rhinebeck today, grilled hot dogs on a roll, mustard, baked beans, coleslaw, homemade cake. And that's nice. At Oakwood School in the dining hall, vegetable soup, hot corned beef sandwich with sauerkraut, salad bowl, pumpernickel, and rye bread. Half a pink grapefruit, milk, tea, or coffee. And there you have it, friends. A look at the school luncheon program. Sent your way with the good wishes of the good guys at Williams Love. Michael O'Neill. Good morning. Secretary of State Kissinger is quoted today as saying Ronald Reagan's position on the Panama Canal Treaty would be a foreign policy disaster. Kissinger also is quoted as saying he'd leave the Ford administration if he's become an embarrassment to the president. The secretary is to testify in about three hours before the Senate Foreign Relations Committee to brief members on what happened during his recent two-week tour of Africa. President Ford is back at the White House this morning after campaigning yesterday in Michigan. He'll return this weekend to campaign in his home state. Ronald Reagan is campaigning there today. After saying yesterday in Kansas City, he feels there's a great probability of a first ballot victory at the Republican National Convention. Jimmy Carter is in New York, where he's continuing his predictions he'll win the Democratic presidential nomination on the first ballot. Senator Frank Church says he expects to beat Carter again in the primary in Oregon May 25th. Morris Udall admits he's behind in Michigan. This is UPI World News. As the United Nations, the lengthy and bitter debate over what should be done with Israeli-occupied land on the west bank of the Jordan River is continuing. And UPI correspondent Tom Foti says it's filled with charges and countercharges. The words were harsh as the discussions continued, even though Israeli Ambassador Chaim Herzog saw little need for the debate. They are tiresome, boring, repetitive. They are counterproductive. They are a waste of time. 